Now I've made it pretty clear that I'm not a fan of the styling on this Mini. For a car that was released in 2015, I'm still not sure why they even bother fitting so much chrome to them. Well, I mean, I know exactly why, it's so they can charge you a fortune when you take it all off and buy replacement parts. But today we're going to be sorting that out and we're going to be doing it on a bit of a budget. Not because I'm a tight ass Yorkshireman, even though I am, but just to see if you can achieve similar results only spending about a third of the money. I've got headlight, tail light and grille surrounds to fit, vinyl to lay over the belt line, door handles, badges and a few other parts too which will hopefully transform the look of this little mini. It's going to be a busy one but I'll try not to drag it out so grab yourself a cuppa, get sat down and let's get into it. <laughs> Chrome. <laughs> Horrible, isn't it? Reminds me of old Rovers. I just need a wooden centre console and I'll feel like I'm back in my childhood. Today I'm going to be getting rid of as much of it as I can on the outside of the Mini. There will definitely be more parts added to the exterior of the car later on down the line, so make sure you subscribe and stick around if you want to see what's next. And if you do press that big red button, make sure you leave a comment down below letting me know what you'd like to see me do to it. Like every single one of my videos now, if you subscribe and comment, you'll automatically be entered into the free monthly giveaway, where this month the prizes are a G-Technic wash mitt and a bottle of Stiana Gloss Citrus Pre-Cleaner. All thanks to the channel sponsor, My Car Cleaning. Remember, there's a discount code for you to use on their website too to save a little bit of dosh. Just pop Luxship 10 in at the checkout for 10% off over 2,000 different detailing products. So... This was always going to be the first batch of modifications that I was going to carry out on this Mini because I really don't like the way it looks at the moment. Now you can spend an absolute fortune on OEM replacements, but I thought, you know what, why don't I be the guinea pig to test out the cheaper alternatives? And then I can let you guys know whether it's worth it or not. So I've been on with fitting a load of different parts today, and if they're decent, I'll post the links to them down in the description for you to buy them. If they're rubbish, they're going in the bin. I'll hand it over to Real Life Luke now. He can do the rest of the video for me. In a bit. Now then, so, as you can probably tell, this isn't going to be an installation video because there's already parts fitted to the car. What I am going to be doing in this video is um, basically taking you around all the bits that I have fitted, telling you the prices of them because there are some which are the cheaper alternative to going to Mini, for example, um, and telling you whether or not they're worth it because, as you can see, there are some bits that are still chrome and that's not because they haven't arrived, it's probably because I've fitted them but they were rubbish. Um, so they've gone in the bin. Now I'll start around the back. These rear tail light surrounds, these are really good actually. I'm quite impressed with these. These came as a bundle. So there was the rear tail light surrounds, there was the front headlight surrounds and the grill surround. They all came as a, as a bundle on eBay for 90 quid. They were super easy to fit. I mean, the old ones came off and the new ones were back on within, I don't know, two minutes. And the fitment, absolutely spot on. So can't recommend those enough. Now the only other bit of chrome that I wanted to get changed on the back for now because I haven't actually ordered the two badges yet was the belt line. Obviously the belt line goes all the way around the car underneath the windows. I didn't want to spend three, four hundred quid on the genuine mini parts because you can just take them off the car without actually having any tools. Now you can obviously take them off the car and then have a go with proper vinyl wrap or you can buy this stuff which is like a, a roll of 10 or 15 mil wide black vinyl tape with the idea of just going over it but i spent about 45 minutes just on this rear trim and couldn't get it anywhere near how i wanted it so i've been that idea off and i also had a quick look on aliexpress now i paid 15 quid from a fairly well-known aftermarket mini website for this roll of vinyl when i looked on aliexpress the same roll of tape was one pound 70 so felt like i'd had my pants pulled down a little bit there but it didn't work anyway, so <laughs> it's just a, a, a straight up don't do it for me at least anyway. Moving on, so after the rear tail lights around and the belt line, fill a cap. Cheapest way to do this would be to just wrap it, but because I'm no good at wrapping stuff as we've established already, the next thing you can do is order a cover. You can either order a full unit, but the cheaper alternative is to order a cover that goes on there. Now, I think it was my mistake, just didn't fit it very well, so I've ordered another one and I'll get back to you with that, but that's still chrome for the time being, but I think it was just a fuck up on my part, to be honest. Door handles. These weren't exactly the cheapest. I think these were 45 pounds for the pair. You can get them on eBay. I've seen them for 23, I think, but I didn't know if they came with the little cutout you have under here for, you know, the uh, puddle lights when you open the door. I knew that these ones definitely came with it, so I've ordered them. 
super easy to fit they just clip on there's a strip of like 3m double-sided tape on the inside just for a bit of extra grippage if you like definitely recommend them um 45 quid maybe a little bit steep for some people when you can get them for literally half the price but they work spot on the other bits at the front i'll get to them in a sec you might notice that the stripes have gone made a massive difference really didn't like them definitely still have to go over it with polish top tip instead of getting the heat gun on there um, and potentially knacking your paint up because you don't know what you're doing just go for a quick drive while the car's still hot tear it off it's exactly what i did and yeah it was a piece of piss headlight surrounds these are really good these came in the bundle with the tail light surrounds and this black grill surround these came with all new clips so when you take this um, headlight surround off the clips just ping off everywhere but you don't have to worry about collecting them all up because the new headlight surrounds come with them on they were super easy to fit as well while the bonnet was up i did take the bumper off to uh, do the grill surround apparently you can get it off without taking the bumper off but you, you take it off in pieces if you do it like that you're going to be damaging the original one I took it off because I also changed the plinth behind the number plate because the one that I had on it looked like it had been in an elementary school in America there was just holes drilled all over it I think it was 40 quid for the plinth just clips in absolutely spot on and that pretty much does it for now there's badges which I do want to get around to doing um, I did actually try to order one of these I just ordered it off Etsy it was the wrong dimensions so that was sort of my fault for not checking so I've got one in my bedroom but it doesn't fit and same with these um, I quite fancy changing them for the LCI ones the uh, the full black ones but the 70 pound for the pair so they're gonna have to wait I've got more important things that I want to do on the car before I change badges but yeah that's uh, pretty much everything the uh, bundle from eBay with the grill surround the headlight surrounds and the tail light surrounds definitely recommend that door handles yes filler cap maybe but the uh, cheaper alternative to doing the belt line is a big thumbs down for me um, I'm just probably gonna have to bite the bullet and buy the expensive one if I can't get it wrapped anywhere but I might be able to pull in a few favors and get it sorted it looks so much better from any angle really from the front from the back even from side on even with just the door handles uh, it made a huge difference so yeah super happy and I think there was a few people who wanted to see a video on the secret compartment if you like it's not that secret everybody knows about it obviously it's not fitted to the f56 it's behind here um it was a, a thing that was in all of the r56 models um and i think the early f56s as well so i'll get one of them ordered and i'll do a little installation video on there if that's what you want to see i guess that's it i'll see you in the next one bye mm -hmm.